Hey you, yeah you stand right there. You guys ready for another episode of House Tours of Los Angeles? Because I think I am guys. We're back for episode number eight. It is Dan Lags, and that probably scared the crap out of you because after the intro you're just like bah in my face. But uh, <laughs> guys we're back for another episode of House Tours of Los Angeles and last episode we went ahead and toured this Tudor style house over here which uh, you guys seem to like a lot and that's great. So we're back for episode eight. And today I'm going to be taking a look at this house right here. So we're still in the neighborhood of the Green Mansion, kind of, since that was the first house built in this area of the map. And uh, we now have a total of six houses here. We got like four of these, you know, traditional houses, more or less. And then we have a couple of modern houses over there. So, uh, you know, it, when it's all said and done, I'd like to have about 12 houses, or like a dozen, I guess, around this area of the map. So uh, I think we're coming along pretty nice here. Uh, we got another house for you guys today, and it's this one right here. You know, a little bit of trad in it. It's a... Uh, what I tried to do with this one is I tried to make it like, um, you know, aged a little bit. So I added like vines and random bushes draped off of the roofing just to give it like, you know, that like aged look to it. So it's been like, you know, mossed up and stuff like that. So uh, this house is actually modeled after a couple houses that I built in the past, guys. This one's, you might have already noticed, but this one is, looks a lot like the, um, the traditional house that I built on the other side of Los Angeles. And it also looks a lot like... Um, a house that I built in Danville, just like a traditional house made out of spruce wood. So it's kind of like a mixture of those two, un unintentionally, really. But uh, I think it's it turned out pretty nice. I like the materials that I use, I guess. And uh, yeah, since I started building it in the natural, I figured I would just finish it since that's what we're doing. So um, yeah, let's go inside. Without further ado, let's take a tour through the inside of this one. So uh, right off the bat here, we got the, the, uh, you know, the front foyer here. It's kind of small, but it has like a different uh, layout than normal. Uh, that way it leads to the kitchen. We won't go that way yet. We're going to go over here. Here's the staircase that leads to the second floor. We got this main room here, which is, you know, kind of just a sitting area. We have some a bigger couch and then a smaller couch. We have a ceiling fan, which is cool. Over here we got ourselves the dining room. So, you know, nice big dining room table. We got some, you know, bushes to accent the room and all that stuff. Nice chandelier. So, guys, take some inspiration from this. Uh, you know, pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. Let's go on uh, this way or that way. Uh, let's go this way. And over here, we have another little sitting area. This is like the TV room for the first floor of the house, so it's kind of cool. Uh, you know, you got your TV and your couch and all that stuff. And here we got a nice small bedroom. Could it be a guest bedroom? Who knows, but it's a bedroom nevertheless. Over here, we have the bathroom to kind of coincide with that bedroom. Just a half bathroom. No shower in this one, but we got a garbage can, which is good. Ooh, got caught in the bookshelf there. So that's that side of the house. Uh, let's see, what else can we check out? I guess we can go this way into the kitchen, doesn't really matter, but this is a door that leads into the kitchen. Here's the kitchen, uh, you know, I probably should light this a little bit better, but whatever. Uh, you got a little floor design of some diamond blocks and some snow. Again, we got some shelving and some grills. A sink here and just some stuff hanging just because it's like, uh, it's supposed to be like, I don't know, just like little racks hanging, like little wine racks maybe, I don't even know what that's supposed to be, but it looks cool, so that's what we're doing. Little table here where you can eat breakfast or cake that kind of looks like a brick. If you look at it, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, in here we got a uh, you know office space just you know chill out play your uh, play your vids play your PC Minecraft you can uh, you know take a look at those flower pots which we should be getting soon nice view of the front so that's cool that's cool all right so this is the kitchen in here is the garage and you know we have just you know basic standard garage really here's kind of an exit out to the to the driveway out here so that's cool so yep just you know standard garage and we'll go back in check out the second floor of the house so it actually also has a basement, which I don't really put in very often. Oh, by the way, here's another exit to the backyard. We'll check that out in further detail later, even though there's really not that much out there. Uh, we'll go to the basement. Why not? Here we go. Basement down here. So this is kind of like an exercise room. We've got a super strange looking treadmill that's not really even a treadmill. Got some punching bags here, which is nice. Uh, in here, we have an extra bedroom. I guess this would be the guest bedroom, more or less. But, you know, really simple. Just a bed and like a desk, pretty much. <laughs> Um, over here we have a bathroom, so that's a full bathroom, so you can, I guess if you're working hard and pumping iron, you can shower it and clean yourself off in there. Uh, and then we have a little ref refrigerator here where you can keep your Gatorade and stuff like that. So that's awesome. There's our little, you know, exercise basement. That's cool, that's cool. Let's go up to the second floor, guys. We got a shelving designer right there just because we can. Alright, second floor, guys. Here we go. So up here we have, like, the first room and the second floor. This leads, like, four different directions. It's a little bit confusing. We got a couch here. And here's a full bathroom, uh, you know, pretty standard, your standard Dan likes bathroom, just shower, toilet, you know, sinks and all that stuff. So that's cool. Um, over here, we have a, another sitting area, and this one actually is for the fireplace. So second floor fireplace on this one, why not? 
Uh, another big couch here. So you can, this is a nice place to chill out, you know, just relax. Uh, in here we have our, you know, just like side closet. Nothing too fancy about this. Just some shelving, some random stuff. That's what we got there. So that's cool. All right. Uh, we didn't check out this room yet. This is actually a bedroom that also leads out to a balcony, which has a nice view. Obviously, we got a little mountain range in the distance. Look over the bay. Green Mansion, you know, nice views here in Los Angeles. Pretty cool. The mowed lawn and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's that. And we'll come back in. All right, what else we got? What else we got? Over here, we have a TV space on the second floor. And this is leads into the master bedroom. This is kind of like a quarter of the house, really. Weird setup in here. Um, basically, when you walk in, it's kind of like the bathroom, more or less. As you can see, we got a shower here. We got a little, like, um, towel mat or whatever you want to call that thing, just so you can, like, you know your wet feet can stand on that this is supposed to be like a, a scale so you can weigh yourself and that's just stupid <laughs> uh in here we have a toilet room and a sink room i guess it's kind of just a small room obviously for that stuff so that's what that is so it's kind of like a two room bathroom kind of when you walk in and then over here is where the bedroom is so we have the obviously the classic you know standard dan Lags water bed you gotta have this in every dan Lags house that's why I don't have to put the signs in front of my house because all you have to do is come inside and see the waterbed and you're golden. So, <laughs> another view of the front. Uh, yeah, there's kind of like these little like side windows here in this room. The master bedroom's cool because it's kind of like in the uh, encaved area of the house, like where the roofing is. So I kind of like that. It makes it look kind of like old fashioned. So that's the master. That's like the little like quarters for the master. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, let me close these doors because we're role playing this thing. All right, so that's the second floor, and that's really the ent entire interior of the house. You know, another cool, you know, standard house. I think it turns out nice. You know, it has a good addition to the world, and that's what's important. And uh, hopefully you guys liked it. So uh, let me see here. Let me fly out here and take a look at the backyard. Again, I didn't really do much with the backyard. I decided to just not put a pool because I had a pool in, like, literally, like, I think four of the six houses in this area. So just no pool for this one. Just, you know, we'll leave it standard. And the reason why is because we have a little dock out here. For the river so that's cool and this, this doesn't even connect to the bay i should probably like make a canal or something that connects out to there which is something i'll probably do in the future but yeah house has pretty cool location as you can see you know right on the water again i really like the uh you know the bushes draped off the house and just like random vines on the sides you know like i said just to give it that aged look which is cool and guys that's pretty much it so be sure to uh you know smack the like button on this video guys that'd be awesome um basically Give, give me a like, guys, because I'm going to try to get out a house tour video at least once a week on this channel. So, uh, because I know I don't do a whole lot of them because it is, does take a lot of time to build houses. But I'm trying to uh, grind out as many houses as I can and, uh, you know, make sure that they're, you know, cool for you guys. So, click the like button. That'll help show me that you guys support this series. And, you know, I'll keep grinding out houses for you guys to tour. So, hopefully you guys got some ideas from this. Uh, you know, just another, you know, example of like a cool traditional house that you can build in Minecraft and... You know, like I said, I hope you guys got some ideas. It has been your friendly neighborhood, Dan Langs. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, guys, if you don't already, because I'm kind of awesome on Twitter. And the link is in the description for that. And uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you very much for watching. You know, quick little house tour of another, uh, you know, traditional house in Los Angeles. We'll build some more stuff. Obviously, over here, I have some more lots that I can add. I already started a floor plan for that lot. So, you know, we're rolling along here, guys. It's uh, good progress. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to say that like a thousand times because that's what I do. And it is your friendly neighborhood, Dan Lags, a.k.a. your friendly neighborhood, Dan Lags. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out.